my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my monthly square hue unboxing and it comes in this cute little box and the polishes are always nice and safe. So we're going to go ahead, I've already cut it so that we can get into it easier. And here we go. And this year it's the dance theme collection and for March of 2017 it's, this is the card. And it's got your swatch places over here. It's got, you know, them listed by their name and then whether they're like a shimmer, micro glitter, or a high gloss cream. And once again, it's got the change your nails, change the world, thank you for giving trafficked victims a chance at a new life. A portion of your membership is donated and has a direct impact on the fight against human trafficking. So, that's always nice. And we're going to get on into the polishes and get all these little crinklies out of the way. Ooh, it's a very bright box. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and pull this one out first and give it a look. Oh, it's very pretty. It's like a blue-green shimmery. It's got a real pretty sh silver vein running through it. Really do like this one. And here's the name on that. Now, I'm not good with these names sometimes. But we're going to go on to the next one, which is what really jumped out at me very very pretty and I'm normally not into yellow nail polish or yellowish gold nail polish but that is just very pretty I'm really liking it and it's Ling I can actually pronounce that one Ling and the last one in this month's box is a cream and it's Nang and it's I, don't know, I guess it's considered a red kind of leans a little bit orange though but very nice and I've always loved their cream so really looking forward to playing with that one we're going to get this box out of the way and we're going to do it like I normally do I've got my ugly paper towel and I'm just going to use a stamping plate that's sitting out on my table you can tell because it's just not very clean and ready but we're going to do some stamp testing with these. And I will be using my lint roller again with a piece of um, chalkboard tape on it so we can see how well it looks over light and dark. I say it like there's only one, but we're going to get that light out of our way so we're not blinded. And we're going to just go ahead and stamp test them in the order in which I had gotten them out of the box. So we're going to start off with the blue green actually I don't I don't know if that would be considered a teal or not I really do need to go to color class color definition class well, it picked up very nice and it stamped over both of them really nice very pretty that's a winner that's a winner. And again, these are not stamping polishes. I just always test them to see how well they'll stamp. I wish I did it with all the polishes that came into my house, but I don't always remember. And the next one we're going to try is Ling. I'm sorry. Let's do that one again. Pra. P-H-R-A. That one stamped like a dream. This one's looking kind of sheer. I don't know how well it's going to do, but I've been surprised before. We do have pickup. <clears throat> I didn't get it very much on the white, but you can see it on both. And I think with top coat, it would really do good over this, over the black. I don't know. It depends on if you're looking for something subtle. Y'all know I'm not normally looking for subtle. <laughs> and we're going to go down here to the last one, and this is Dang. Beautiful. 
beautiful pickup. Okay, and this one showed up really good over the white, but not as much so on the dark. So, but that's really nice to know how pretty that would look over the white. I'm liking it. All right, so we're going to get the stamping stuff out of the way so that we can swatch these. I'll be right Okay, I'm back. We're going to go ahead and swatch these three on some pop sticks. I'll put their label stickers on them later. Just so anxious to see how well they do that I don't want to waste time. I'm going to get right on in there and do it. Very nice. Oh, I got a little dragon, but that was me. That will get covered up with the next one. Either that or I have a fuzzy in it. I tell you what, it's still very fresh. We can do this. We just wiped that right off with the paper towel. We're going to go in again. Might have had a fuzzy in it. You know, I do have a dog, so. His hair manages to get into everything. I'm still seeing a fuzzy. So that one's just going to have a fuzzy in it this time. <clears throat> and then we're going to go on to the next one, the yellow one. This one reminds me, it's not the same at all, but it reminds me of the polish from Polish was for Gryffindor. No, no, not Gryffindor. Lord be. Um, Hufflepuff. It's that same kind of base color. And this one's got like gold micro glitters in it. Oh, this, look at that crane. Oh, that just goes on like butter. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. We have a winner with that. I am I'm not just a straight up fan of the color, but the formula and the color, I'm digging it. So we're gonna go ahead and do another coat. Very nice. Got a little bit of brush strokey in there, but I'm not the best at metallics. And maybe my top coat will smooth that out a little bit. I normally don't top coat my swatch sticks, but sometimes we, we break the rules. And that one really built up really nice on that second coat. Very surprised. Very pretty. So far, I am once again happy with this month's box. I'm not surprised, that's why I keep getting it, is because I do really enjoy their polishes. Very pretty. All right. So let's get some shots with the names. Very nice. And then the next one. And that one could probably use another coat, like on the real nail. Come on, camera. Focus. It is just not one to focus today. Let's see if maybe I need to adjust the light. Just be one of those colors that's just so bright. There we go, about time. Thank you. Alrighty, and there's Lane. And then for the beautiful cream, I'm trying to make sure I don't mess up the other swatches. So there we go. Those are all three polishes from this month's box, Square Hue, and I will leave a link to their website down below. 
once again, here's the swatches. They turned out pretty good. Really good over the white. Um, the blue is the blue green is really the only one that I think would really be a stamper over darker colors. And let me grab a top coat real quick so we can see. See if maybe top coating it will make any difference at all. Sometimes it does. And that does make it show up a little bit more on the dark color. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot for the gold, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. So yeah, you can really see it better with the top coats on. This one up here, the top one, the green, blue-green one, is just really really pretty stamped. So there we go guys and girls, my friends. That is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.